Wondering how you can naturally increase your own progesterone production? Well, stick around for this video. We're gonna go over three things you should be doing and one thing you need to absolutely make sure is not happening. Hi ladies, welcome back to Fertility Mom. Today we're talking about how you can naturally increase your progesterone production. But first, if you haven't already come to my free live masterclass, then you wanna hit the description box or the first pinned comment below and grab a seat at the next live class that I do. We are gonna go over some scientific breakthroughs that have been made in egg quality and anti-aging for fertility, and we go over the best strategy to help you improve your fertility fast and get pregnant. So hope to see you there. The other thing is that my Instagram and TikTok channels are now live, so you can head down to the links below and also make sure you subscribe to those channels. These channels are to help make your fertility journey better, and it's gonna give you daily tips and tricks that you can start implementing as we go. But for now, let's talk about how you can naturally improve your own progesterone production. First thing is first, we have to make sure that you're having your progesterone tested on the correct day in your cycle. Most clinics and doctor's offices will recommend that you have your progesterone taken on day 21 of your cycle, but for most women in the world, they don't ovulate on day 14 like your standard normal cycle says, and so their day 21 progesterone levels are off kilter. I recommend that you know exactly what day you do ovulate so that you can tell the doctor, this is seven days post my ovulation, because that will give you the best accurate reading on what your progesterone levels are. We want to a minimum of 10 above 15 is great but if we are having true measurements at seven days post ovulation and they're less than 10 we have to do something to help get that better one of the first things we have to talk about when we're talking about how to naturally increase your progesterone is your stress level now this is not a oh avoid all the stress and you know just relax and it'll happen no it's none of that stuff stress is a part of life and it's going to happen it's really about how do we manage the amount of stress that we have going on in our life the first thing you really need to do is assess is stress a big factor on me? Do I internalize stress? What's going on in my life? What are some things that I can put into place to help me manage stress better so it's not affecting my hormone levels, my chart, and that kind of thing? So one of the first things that I recommend that you do not do, because this spikes your cortisol early in the morning, is I do not recommend that you wake up in the morning and start looking at social media or checking your email first thing. When you wake up in the morning, I recommend leaving your phone and going off to do something else to kind of get your day started. Whether that be five minutes or 20 minutes, that little bit of time where you're kind of setting yourself up for the day, not using your phone and being on social media, that will keep your cortisol levels at a nice, steady state rather than spiking it first thing in the morning. So that's one thing. The other thing is I want you to make sure that you're putting in some sort of daily activity throughout your day or at least in the beginning part of your day. Maybe you can go for a walk, maybe you can do a little yoga or Pilates at home, but getting exercise in is phenomenal and it can help really release some stress that's going on in your life. The other thing is that you wanna make sure that you're prioritizing things that bring you happiness and joy throughout your day, throughout your week, or if you know, you know if you have a really busy, stressful week, that you're putting something on the weekend that you can look forward to that brings you happiness. Happiness, joy, things like this, this will help to decrease your overall stress levels over the long haul, and this will be really important in helping us maintain a good progesterone level. Another thing you wanna make sure that you're doing is that you're eating enough food. I have a lot of women that come to me and come to find out they're chronically under eating even though they're eating really good food. They feel like their diet is really wholesome and really amazing. They're eating organic, they're eating pasture raised, they're eating good stuff. But then it turns out they're chronically under eating and even sometimes sub a thousand calories, but they think they're eating a lot. So you really wanna make sure you're assessing your diet, that you're eating enough calories and you're eating a lot of variety in terms of colors. You wanna really concentrate on nutrient dense foods, bright colors, fruits, berries, things like that. Another really important thing about increasing your progesterone naturally is going to be making sure that you're getting enough sleep. Now, a lot of us just aren't getting enough sleep and we can operate maybe on five or six hours of sleep and get things done in our day, but your body is suffering from it. Your hormones are suffering from it. So you really wanna make sure that you're concentrating on getting a good seven to eight plus hours. Some of you might need more. You wanna make sure you're getting a good seven to eight hours every single night. You need to prioritize a sleep hygiene regimen, meaning you're getting in bed around the same time every day. You're doing a certain few things to help get your body ready for bed. Um, sometimes you can take a 
a hot shower. Sometimes you can write in a journal. You can write gratitudes. You can do things that help kind of get you into that sleeping state so that you're ready to go to sleep when you get into bed. We want to make sure we are getting enough sleep. If you are not getting enough sleep, then that is something we must prioritize before we start going down the supplement train of adding in progesterone because that's not exactly going to fix the problem. Sure, your progesterone numbers will come up, but on the back end, the body is still not in the best place that it could be. And we want to make sure we're optimizing you and your cycle to get pregnant. And now the one thing that we have to make sure is not happening when we're trying to increase our progesterone naturally, because you can be doing all of these things and it's kind of like blowing in the wind. It's not going to really do much. We want to make sure that your prolactin level is in the normal range because this, if it's high, can really interrupt what's going on in your ovulation process. And if we don't have a good, strong ovulation, we're not going to have a good progesterone levels. So a couple of things with this, you want to make sure that you are having your prolactin levels checked. Absolutely. I have a lot of ladies that have been having trouble getting pregnant for many years and then come to find out they've never had the prolactin levels checked and then we check it and it's really sky high. So we want to make sure that your prolactin level gets checked. Now, if it comes back high, really high, then we need to make sure that there is some investigation done as to why. We want to make sure that there's no benign pituitary tumor happening, which can happen. This happens all the time. You need to have an MRI done of your brain. So if you get a prolactin that is very high, we just need to rule this out or rule this in. That will that will change how we treat it. You might get a little medication to help bring that prolactin level down and that will help the situation. So make sure you get that prolactin level checked. And then if it's high, there needs to be some follow-up investigation as to what is going on with that. You should not be given a medication without making sure that MRI is taken. Now, of course, there are supplements that you can add into your fertility protocol to make sure that you are helping your body as best you can, but I don't recommend focusing on that part before you've looked at the other pieces that we've talked about. But you can add in things like B vitamins, vitamin E, vitamin C, zinc, and magnesium, and these help to support your natural progesterone production as well. I hope you found that video helpful, ladies. Hit me down in the comments. Let me know what other questions you have about progesterone or any other thing that I can do other videos on. Make sure you join me on Instagram and TikTok and absolutely join me in that fertility masterclass. We can talk about what is actually happening for you. Till the next one, ladies. Bye.